Okay, very basically to get into the session, I did a few tuck holds here and there, but I went feeling hungry. I only had like a couple of drinks of water, but nothing to eat because I just wanted to go and see if there's anyone worth saying hi to. Turns out there was, but not the um, not anyone that I was expecting. It, it just it, it seems like whenever you expect it least. Some people that you'd want to be speaking to, they just pop up out of nowhere. Well, it makes complete sense though. If we go to the same gym, it makes sense that we will see each other sooner or later. And I am really trying to socialize, especially with one person in particular. And I just want to see how things go with this, with this person, see how things turn out. We'll, we'll see, we'll just see. But I certainly will be going consistently though. Because I know I want to socialise. I know I want to be talking to people and increasing how many male friends and female friends that I have. Right now I say I have quite a few acquaintances, but no deep friendships with anyone. There are many, quite a few people there that I respect because of all of the work that you can see has been that they put into their body on their body through training and eating what they need to eat in order to be the way they are in terms of their physique so there are quite a few people in the gym that I have major respect for but I wouldn't say I'm very deep friends with them as in like lifetime friends with them no nah, not yet we're not at that I'm not at that level yet with anyone but that's more than okay because it's only been a short time since I've been going there but it's, it's been, it has been a while, but um, by short time, I mean not, a, not long enough to breed a lifetime friendship or to believe that we're going to have a friendship for life. It hasn't been that long. And that's, that's okay. It's okay for now. Bless me times three. Oh, you're okay, to be fair. But wait, I don't have hay fever. Um, I've made more progress and I've purposefully been, what would you say? Um, not extending my hand, no. Widening the grip. Of, of my hands whilst doing the tuck hold that allows me to I've noticed that allows me to actually keep my arms straight rather than hyper, hyper hyper extended so it looked like it looked like so instead of my arms being like this imagine that this is the bicep and then the elbow pit the elbow pit or the elbow if you're looking at the back and then these are the triceps no sorry then these are the forearms or the, the, the basically here instead of it looking like a u when you hyperextend widen i widened my grip so that my arms are um, a bit more straight and because i've been doing that it seems like i've also automatically had a straight back it seems like it encourages proper form so i'm going to keep on doing it very late on in the session i just stopped using the mat i stopped laying on the mat and i really like the feeling of i like the feeling of the i think it's probably fake wood i like the feeling of the wood on, on my hands so i may actually do it without mats from now on depending on what i want to do or uh, depending on how i want to do it depending on if i pr prefer the feel of the wood or synthetic wood compared to the mat or the other way around depending on what i'd want to try out almost said depending on what I feel like doing automatically oh, oh future me I wonder if you if you remember why I've just just sighed about that because it was automatic 
it wasn't something that I was going to consciously say. I did correct myself before even saying it. But those aren't things that I'd want to automatically say. Or maybe even automatically think. I like ment I like the control of the mind and control of the body. Hell yeah. That's my that's that that's my style. It allows me to bec become not only fearless, but fearless and educated. I know myself and I know I know other people. I know what drives me and I know what drives other people as I make lifetime friends along this journey. In an ideal world, everything goes great and the friends that you have are friends for life and none of them at all throughout your many decades of living don't betray you in your opinion but I don't think that's ideal. Uh, no, I don't think that's realistic to expect to happen. I certainly won't wish it upon myself that people I call friends betray me, but I'm not going to go out of my way to betray other people, first of all, because I know I wouldn't want to be betrayed. And Like how Sidemen all day said, or something along the lines of, whilst on the Ham uh, Hamza podcast, I almost, I almost said Hamza, because it's so in the self improvement, it's so in the self improvement realm. But no, it's not Hamza, Hamza. Hamza said, no, like Sidemen all day said to Hamza, um, because of his character and his honesty, you have to be a certain level of honest in order to be a friend of his, in his opinion. And that might just be the case with me. If you think what I say is too much, too much or too much information, naturally you will back off. If for whatever reason you don't like what's going on here, you will eventually back off. That actually does remind, now that I've, I've mistakenly said Hamza instead of Hamza, but I do actually want to speak about Hamza's video creation now. I personally don't watch his videos anymore. I think it's just past a certain point, I wasn't able to really grow with those videos. I was just watching, it was going through one ear and out the other. And it seems like he switches uh, in, in terms of what you see on, on the video there's so many clips switch, uh, switching from clip to clip clip to clip just for the sake of engagement and they're short enough for people to not want to click off with all of that the engagement tactics that are being used such as switching from clip to clip visually but as he said he sees it as his business, as a business. So, of course, he's on the premise that he's telling the truth. That's enacting in how the videos on his channel are created with him and his production team. It's, it's a business for him, as he said. So it certainly does make sense as to why he would do tactics like that because they work. And if it's a business, then that means there's an income side of things. And of course, with YouTube, there is. Of course, you could have money coming in through this. And fair enough for it. Um, fair enough for him and his team. doing that because it's a part of what works and maintains retention it seems because I know when I'd watched those videos I watched the whole thing for the most part because they were in terms of having a short attention span 
they work too short or they work too long for an overstimulated mind. So it works for sure. I personally, I don't want, uh, I will not watch those videos really anymore. And I won't because I could sense that I wasn't actually growing from watching those videos due to how I was watching them. It was too much, it was too much, the videos are just too much to process mentally because of all of the um, visual clip switching. Rip Wright HD did it in one of his shorts, but uh, a lot more aggressively than I've ever seen on a Hamza video before. And I feel very thankful. I, I feel very grateful that he did because I've now been able, with that in mind and me seeing that, I've now been able to realize how much that sort of stuff can overstimulate the mind because it's so much to process. If it's aggressive, like how Rip Wright did it in one of his shorts of him exercising and see other people exercising and then the, 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 And then the um, clips are switching so aggressively, like instant, 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 like literally instant, instant. It's gonna, your mind will get overstimulated quick. And although ideally, yeah, we don't do that every single day, at least one time is very helpful because it allows, it's an, at least allowed me to understand that. Okay, that isn't, this isn't how I want things to go. This isn't the sort of content that I want to be watching. With all of this editing and so much for the mind to process. My brain just can't hack it. And even if that means that I make longer clips and audience retention is lower, that's something that I can't control. I can certainly work towards increasing the likelihood of longer audience retention by getting straight to the point and talking about what people people may want to hear, such as talks related to fulfilling our hardwired needs of having and raising children through for, for the females nurturing and for the males providing and yeah, I certainly can talk about those over and over again. But I'm not going to unless I feel the need to. Because me just focusing on those things, even though they get views, even at this point in time, they, where they get like three views, for example, complacency due to sex appeal might be a curse, got three views in the space of less than a day. And... Um, there was another one related to like physical attractiveness in some way. I don't remember how, but um, yeah, those certainly got. Oh, females have issues just like how males do. That's what it was. And even though yeah, these got a, uh, a few views already, even though. The channel has 13 subscribers and less than 5,100 total views over every single video combined. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to create those videos unless I think it's necessary and there's something that's actually provided a cue to create those videos because I want to grow naturally and let things happen in the way that uh, that allow me to grow in all aspects of my life rather than being one of those sorts of creators within this field of self-improvement uh, I just I just don't want to be one of those people telling, telling other people what to do how to do it because then that means my growth as a person is at expense and that's 
say this because I want me allowing myself to actually improve naturally in different aspects that may mean I'd improve a lot more than if I were to just try to tell people what to do and how, how to do it. I'm not one of those creators, man. I'm just not. If you're looking for advice, you'll search for it. But <laughs> you might not get advice here, and I don't mind. You might not be able to find advice that you think is suitable for you or valuable to you, and I don't mind because the idea of self-improvement is to improve yourself first. That is paramount. Helping people can come second, but I have to help myself out. I remember Mike Tyson in a um, short saying, if you can't help yourself, you can't help anybody else. And I certainly agree. How can you be in the correct mind, mind state to be able to help people out if you don't help yourself out? If you don't help yourself out, you don't, what are the odds that you really have experience or being able to live the life that you truthfully want to live? Yeah, you certainly could have helped other people out, but if your state is the best, then you're not going to be able to help other people out as you may want to. So this self-improvement, improving myself comes first. I don't even want to call it self-improvement anymore. I even, I'm not even sure if I want to call it self-improvement anymore. It's just a journey. So many different fancy words and that. It's just a journey. It is just a life journey. It's, that's all it is people try to use all fancy words to be able to label it and put in a category category in that for whatever reason perhaps to make it easier to find that would make sense but it's just a journey it's just a journey that's all it is to me now not self-improvement not self-improvement as i used to call it but even though i do agree with showing proof and actually improving yourself i do agree with it but I just don't want to use that name anymore. It's just a life journey. You don't need to use all these big fancy words if you don't want to. And it's not that I don't want to, it's just that I don't see the need for them anymore. It doesn't have to be all these these fancy words, all this alpha male, beta male, omega male, de delta male. I mean, come on, man, go outside. Red pill, blue pill, black pill, yellow pill. Concentrated piss orange pill. Uh, concentrated orange piss pill. Like, you don't need all these, all these, all these fancy words, all these tech, all these, all these terms and that. Just go outside, man. Literally, just go outside. Experience life. Live life. Love life. And grow as a person. Why not just do that? You don't have to use all these fancy words, man. You know, male and female. You don't have to use all these fancy words to, to say, to just talk about growth and that. You don't need them. You really don't need them. Although for men, as a start, the red pool certainly can be uh, a useful place to create the mental stimulus to be able to grow out of a situation you don't want to be in that's how it helped me but past a, past a certain point it got useless it became useless because i just didn't i didn't like the mind space that um how people thought after a while it reminds me of austin austin dunn in vlogs with one of his thumbnails uh, like are oh, no hookups oh okay and they're just focused on basically how to become attra attractive to have sex. There is that implication there, but they might not directly say that that is what it's there for all the time. And it reminds me of X Fearless as well, alpha male strategies too. I'm just not in that sort of mind space where I'm focused on just having sex. 
anymore. I impulsively had sexual thoughts, but I just didn't really like the mind space with certain beliefs, i.e. all women are like that. That's basically like the manosphere uh, version of saying, like how, how, how females may say men are trash, like the manosphere way of saying the um, like females are trash is like all women are like that. They won't put it in quote marks though. They will just they will, they will, they will, there won't be any apostrophes. It will just be all women are like that and uh, with negative connotations to say to basically say that they're slags. Very 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 very, very basically. Or um, all women are or all females are thinking a way that we may not we may not like. I may not deem appropriate or helpful to a relationship. You don't really... These sorts of red pill creators and and I don't really have the same sorts of goals in a relationship, it seems. I'm not just focused on wanting to have sex. I'd much rather... In this period of time in my life, I'd much rather just stay monogamous and date one female date one female at a time and if I want to date more than one at a time and try it out and see what it's like then so be it I think that would be very helpful but from there I'd have experiences of the monogamous side and the polygamous side and I'd be able to as a much more mentally mature and physically mature man decide which sort of avenue I prefer and therefore would like to take in dating The red pill peop- uh, the red pill content creators, act, uh, saying that polygamy is an option, and teaching people reminds me of MJ Get Right teaching people how to have a um, what what they call a rotation of women. Um, it may be very helpful. On the premise, I'd like to have polygamous relationships, but right now I'm not looking for that, and it doesn't serve. A- so it therefore doesn't serve a purpose and I'm not focused on wanting to have a polygamous relationship just to have sex and to look at females as a sexual sexual objects it's just no more than a series of holes that get fucked I'd much rather if I'm with a female or females depending on what I do I'd much rather grow with them but this, this is this is a, uh, quite a deep talk. This is this has nothing to do with the the session, but um, yeah, we've got we've got to get into it now. My my apologies. to get more definition when I flex. Hell yeah. What about the left side? Oh, I gotta be careful if I for extending though. Ah, so that's how you keep your chest up. Hmm, cool. Don't hyperextend. Okay, it's fine. Purposefully keep them straight, not overdoing it, but straight. Cool. 